Hello everyone, it's Cosmo Casper and today I'm going to be showing you how to test a thermocoupler with a meter. Um, this is actually really, really simple to do and you might have seen my other video where I actually used a thermocoupler tester but then I realized my channel is about electric so why not show you how to do it with a multimeter. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is go to your volt setting and you want to be on DC milliamps. So I'm going to click that. You can see the symbol changed to DC and it says, uh, sorry, I just said milliamps, it's millivolts. Um, you see MV right there, it's millivolts. Now just my meter being in open air, like if I touch it and stuff, you're going to see these numbers change. Don't worry about that. Once you hook it to the thermocoupler, it should steady out at zero. You're going to take the uh, common ground, the black lead, hook it to the copper of the thermocoupler. Then you're going to take the red and hook it to the top. And you can see it zeroed out real quick there for me. Then all you do is you take heat and you apply it to the thermocoupler. And you should see numbers being generated. I'm generating 4.5.6 point. Basically, I'm making millivolts. And what this actually does. Uh, the millivolts are what powers the internal workings of a thermocoupler. Like this right here is a hot water heater control. You can see if I press this button, the button is actually lined up perfect. Sorry. With where the thermocoupler would normally go into down here. So when I press that button, this is the internal piece. This goes down and makes contact, and it stays depressed, which lets the gas flow through the inlet. Basically, if you press your button down on your control or your furnace, whatever you're working on, and it's not staying depressed when your pilot's lit, you probably have a bad thermocoupler or a bad control. That's a really quick, easy way to diagnose this. So this is the internal piece. Not sure how good you'd be able to see this, but how it works is when those uh, millivolts are generated, uh, it powers this little coil in here, which makes magnetism, and that's actually what holds this down and lets the gas flow. So when a thermocoupler is not producing millivolts, it basically will not hold down uh, the internal coil of the thermocoupler control. Uh, that's the best way I can describe that to you. Um, you saw my other video. You can actually buy these thermocoupler testers where instead of looking for a millivolt reading, you just simply see if it holds the valve down. That's a more foolproof way of doing it, but the way you do it with the meter, stupid simple. Uh, you just hook it up like I just did, and you see if it's generating millivolts. Thanks, guys.